வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் லெக்சர் ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் த ஹியூமன் பாடி அஸ் அ பயோமெக்கானிக்கல் சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் சம் பேசிக் டெர்மினாலஜிஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் பி லுக்கிங் அட் பிளேன்ஸ் ஆர் அனடாமிக்கல் பிளேன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆக்சஸ் தட் ஆர் பர்பண்டிகுலர் டு தீஸ் பிளேன்ஸ் ஆர் அனடாமிக்கல் ஆக்சஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் யூஸ்ட் ஃப்ரீக்வெண்ட்லி in describing specific movements and in discussing or in communicating a particular movement in a non ambiguous manner so in other words when an expert in the field is speaking about the about a particular movement the listener will be able to exactly understand what that person is speaking if these terms are consistently used so the key is to understand these terms and use them consistently so that the other person understands exactly what is it that you are referring to so from that point of view this uh, reference planes or the anatomical planes and the anatomical axis play an important role so what are these anatomical planes is an imaginary 2d surface that passes through the body right so this surface at which within which the movements are taking place is called the plane there are three such planes that are discussed within biomechanics one that divides the body into the left side and the right side this is called as the sagittal plane sagittal plane is that plane that is passing through my head but and through my head and through my body that divides my body into two sides not necessarily two halves okay the particular sagittal plane that divides my body into two equal halves is called as the mid sagittal plane note that there can also be a sagittal plane that passes just through my shoulder but not through my head that's a different sagittal plane okay it just has to divide the body into two parts a left part and a right part that's it right so a sagittal plane divides the body into a left part and a right part or two sides of the body okay sagittal plane then that plane which passes through the body and divides the body into a front part and a back part not necessarily two halves okay a front part and a back part that plane is called coronal plane or frontal plane remember again there can be many coronal planes there can be one that passes at the at the beginning of the head and there can be one that passes at the middle of the center of the head okay that plane that divides the body into two parts front and the back is called as a coronal plane then there are three dimensions right so we have uh, done two the other one must be so one that divides uh, like this left and right the one that divides front and back then what must be the other one the one that divides into a top and a bottom right not necessarily two halves okay so that plane which divides the body into a top portion and into a bottom portion is called as the transverse plane or the horizontal plane okay so these are the planes that are under uh, discussion so the transverse plane is shown in green here so that is the transverse plane sagittal plane is shown in uh, red and coronal plane is shown in blue okay coronal plane divides the body into front and back sagittal plane divides it into left and right transverse plane divides it into top and bottom so to review the sagittal plane is a vertical plane that passes through the body longitudinally it divides the body into a right section and a left section as shown in this picture right and the axis right that passes from the top to the bottom or from the head to the tail is called as a cranio caudal axis and the axis that passes from the front and the back this is called as a anterior posterior axis or anterior posterior axis now a question is what would be an axis that would be perpendicular to the sagittal plane how would it go the sagittal plane divides my body into a 
left and right part if that is it is going to be like this if an axis passes perpendicular to that that would be a medial lateral axis that would go that would go from medium middle to the side right medial lateral axis right? something to remember we will see that in more detail then you have the coronal plane that divides the body into the front portion and a back portion is also a vertical plane that passes through the body longitudinally but this is perpendicular to the sagittal plane remember this is the sagittal plane and this is the coronal plane or the frontal plane okay these two are perpendicular to each other okay it divides the body into a front or the anterior portion and a back and a posterior section okay and this has two axes within it one is the left right axis or the mediolateral axis and the top bottom axis are the craniocaudal axis the axis that goes from the front to the back or the axis that is perpendicular to the frontal plane what would it be the axis that is perpendicular to the coronal plane the axis that is perpendicular to the coronal plane is the anterior posterior axis or anterior posterior axis is it not anterior posterior axis right then you have the transverse plane which is a horizontal plane this is perpendicular to both the sagittal plane and the coronal plane right this is perpendicular to both the sagittal plane and the coronal plane like this but it is parallel to the floor it divides the body into a upper part and a lower part not necessarily two halves right within this sec within this plane you will have a left right axis or the medial lateral axis and an anterior posterior axis so you will have anterior posterior axis and medial lateral axis what would be an axis that would be perpendicular to this plane that would be the axis that goes from the top to the bottom like this or the craniocaudal axis so let us look at the axis with a bit more detail what is an axis the anatomical axis under discussion these are imaginary axes of rotation around which a movement takes place there are three axes one is the medial lateral axis like that right or the axis in the frontal plane right or the frontal axis to avoid ambiguity it's called medial lateral axis that is it goes from the middle of the body to the side of the body the medial lateral axis right or the left right axis then you have that axis that goes from the front to the back this is the antero posterior axis Okay, this is the antero posterior axis. Then you have the axis that is passing through the head, from the head to the tail, from the top to the bottom. This is the longitudinal axis or the craniocaudal axis. Okay. Let us remember this: that the axis that is going from left to right or from the middle to the side. is called as a medial lateral axis the one that goes from the front to the back is called as an antero posterior axis and the one that is perpendicular to the head or in the longitudinal is called as a longitudinal axis or the craniocaudal axis right so the medial lateral uh, axis runs from side to side it passes horizontally from left to right direction now remember that any movement that happen in a sagittal plane will happen about this axis because the sagittal plane is this plane that which divides the body into two sides the left side and the right side the left side and the right side right any movement that happens within this plane within this plane in 2d if there is any movement that is happening a rotation that is happening that will happen 
about that axis right and what is that axis that axis is the axis that goes from the left to the right or from the middle to the side or the medial lateral axis okay then you have the anterior posterior axis this runs from the front to the back it passes horizontally from the posterior posterior means the back to the anterior direction so any movements that happen in the coronal plane in the frontal plane that will happen about this axis is it not because this is the frontal plane this is the frontal plane and an axis that is perpendicular to this about this the rotation will happen right that axis is the anterior posterior axis then you have the longitudinal or the vertical axis this is the one that goes from the top of the head to the space between the feet or to the tailbone passes vertically from inferior direction to superior direction or from superior direction to inferior direction any movement that happen in this plane in the horizontal plane will happen about the top down axis about this axis right any movement that happens in this plane will happen about this axis or the rotations that happen in the transverse plane happen about the longitudinal or the vertical axis with this we come to the end of this lecture so in this lecture we saw anatomical planes and anatomical axis and we took some time to define and repeat more than once these terms why is this important because this will be used very frequently in future lectures and in future classes and in problem questions so that you will be in a position to remember and understand what is being said in the future classes that is the purpose of spending a few minutes on this topic and repeating it more than once thank you very much for your attention mm -hmm.